former law enforcement officer and female, along with other Dalton residents, would like to see you display some integrity. People are frustrated. They want answers. They want transparency. This has to end. I'm so disappointed in what's been happening in Dalton. Mayor, you need to step down because you have disgraced this village. We need to know what's happening with our money. You need to address what happened in Vegas and you have been silent. I didn't vote for you to give you a chance because you had better things. The only things that you have done were for you. You didn't do anything for the residents. You did it for yourself. So let's tell the truth, which I know you're incapable of. I wouldn't trust this woman if she stood on a stack of Bibles and had her tongue notarized. Not a damn thing she says comes out her mouth is true. Thank you. Say her name. Alexis. All right. OK. All right. If they don't let us in by the, after the Pledge of Allegiance, they supposed to walk out. So if y'all walk out, y'all walk out. We got business to handle. OK. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hand me your business. And we going to handle ours. Corrupt politicians. Yeah, the village is all police officers. We can block roadways if we deem necessary. Let me know if you can hear this, guys. So I'm asking you, I'm not bothering you, man. What's the threat? If you get an agenda to go attend the board meeting, they got to open the door. But what's the threat? All right. What do you deem a threat? I'm asking you what you deem a threat. Nothing, right? You're bullshitting. And our First Amendment, you cannot do it. You cannot do it. You cannot impede people. This is, a, this is, this is when it started. Business. They started okay. getting on saying. They can. And you can't stop them from getting there. Back there we okay, go. You can already see this. You ain't even worth it. You, I'm, I know. I've been doing it a long ass time. <clears throat> but you might not be a cop too much longer. You might, I have. That's why I live good as fuck. I don't have to rob people for my nice houses, bro. I didn't sell my soul for a few trinkets. Be a good cop, you fucking illegitimate ass lieutenant. The trustee can't even get in. So that's house. That house right there. How did these must house is trustee house inside the building? And he cannot even get inside of the facility. Come on. This is not helping. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Buffering going on. I hope so. <laughs> Everyone just need to. Everyone just need to chill a little bit. Chill. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> This is a good amount of people. This is a, a good amount of people coming up. All right, all right, guys. All right, this ain't helping. Y'all mad at the wrong people. Easy, easy. Oh, they said that they're gonna open the door and then let the seven people in at a time and nobody sign in. Easy, Vivian. Hey, easy, 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 easy. easy. Absolutely. We gotta be smarter than that. Absolutely. So, listen, don't give them a disruption to stop the meeting. The media is in. We using our wisdom today. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So listen, listen. Now this is what we figured out what we about. Those of you under the 
gonna go in. We all gotta come in. The open meetings have to find them to get bigger space if they try to stop us. But if they can't let us all come in, they can't have none of us. Y'all need to hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all need to hear what I'm saying? Yeah. No, hey. they're gonna let us in if they gotta rotate. Long time ago. If they gotta rotate the crowd, everybody going in. Point blank. Yeah, shout out to Red Dyer. Just trying to keep the cool. Remember, the focus and purpose the, is to expose what's going outside, on. The outside number of people do not leave the building. Man, I just know I just came all the way to Texas. Oh, Absolutely. Okay. Got, got, got to keep a level head here. So, look, we're trying to get this accomplished the right way. All right? If you want to be a star, you can have this mic in a minute. But right now, we got to organize to get in the, the building. Yeah, that's right. All right. So. That'll be one. That'll be a good episode. I guess. <laughs> so people are trickling in. Shout out to JT, man. Much love. Let me know if any other. Uh, Actually, I'm hearing too many different things at once. Give me oh, a second. Okay, because I could barely hear myself. Oh. Okay, so the meeting is not started because they're not. Everyone's not even seated yet. I can look ahead. I can see maybe some people already seated all the way at the front. Um, there's still a lot of that, you know, that energy out there in the in the at the door. But there are people trickling in. Mm-hmm. But shout out to the firm audit. Let me put them put there. Let me see if I can. Uh, yeah, firm audit. So it's F I R M. It's in the uh, audits. I'm gonna subscribe to them right now. So we got that. So people are coming in. It's just a slow uh, process. <clears throat> But still, a lot of people are still outside right now. And Jediah, Jediah, I think he's in. I think he looked like he may be in. Roslyn with the ten dollars super sticker. Appreciate you. My my aunt's name is Roslyn. Awesome. Yeah, I think I yeah I did see I see Jediah got in. Good, cool, cool. So they are, they are coming in. They are coming in slowly, which may, which is fine. That kind of makes sense, but they did not plan this out correctly to get everyone to feel like they weren't able to go in. It, you know, obviously that that's this is why they didn't want to kind of bring that kind of energy in there to gaslight these people. So this meeting should happen, but as you as you can see, guys, I don't know how much more seats are available. Where do the rest of the people go? That's the question. Where are the rest of the people are going to go? So I need y'all to listen to me. Well, you already got it. I need y'all to hear me. I, this is my problem. This meeting is about to end. It's not going to happen. How the meeting go in? Let him go. Wait, 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 wait. Shh. I'm frustrated. Just, I'm, This, this, this is the plan. Yeah, no, you do. This is not helping. This is not helping. This is not helping. This is not helping. 
This is supposed to be the plan, the walkout with the trustees after the Pledge of Allegiance. This is the plan. They're not about to open it back up, though. They're done. Okay, so it looks like they may have stopped people from coming in. Because this, I don't know what's going on out here. They may, they may not let anybody else in. So it may just be pandemonium outside, outside while the meeting is happening inside and see if this is actually going to happen. Jedi says there will be a walkout. Let's see if that actually happens. <laughs> Why the walkout? They want to draw attention to Andrew Holmes. They want Andrew Holmes to resign over allegations of sexual assault, um, basic sexual misconduct that has multiple victims. According to Jarediah, he has information that multiple victims have claimed of what Andrew Holmes has done. Obviously, we already know what the accusations are in Las Vegas. But this is the, the plan. He's there mostly for Andrew Holmes. Amen. All right. Next, we have public comment. And let me just give you a couple of rules. But I'm going to give the mic to uh, Chief Lacey first. Go ahead, Chief. Oh, yeah. We want to hear Chief Lacey. No. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, members of the board. Uh, Due to credible threats, that is one of the reasons why this meeting uh, was delayed. Uh, we had to rearrange some things, but we do have credible threats in reference to this meeting tonight. Uh, unfortunately, Protest. Protest if there are any outbursts, if there are any clapping or anything that is, or if we get another credible threat, the meeting will be closed. Unbelievable. There's no, there's no threats. There's no threats. All right, you have two, you have two minutes to make whatever comments you make. Ladies and gentlemen, when I said that the meeting will be closed, if there are any disruptions, this meeting will be shut down for another day. Good evening, Mary Avon, resident of Dalton. To all the department heads sitting on the dais for the last few meetings, you've decided to share your comments and your feelings. We don't want it and we don't need it. You are not allowed to answer any of the residents' concerns, so why would I hope or want to hear anything from you other? You don't know if you don't live here or pay taxes here, but your thoughts and concerns would be different if you did. Number two, Andrew Holmes in his absence. Maybe he's in the back listening. The nerve of you to sit in the seat as a trustee here with the allegations the people put you in the seat to serve as a trustee to the residents, not to the mayor. You say you're an activist of law enforcement. Well, I was an officer in the trenches for 25 years. That meant doing the work, not talking the talk, not looking for a camera at every turn. Mm -hmm. I was locking people up, even took a bullet, all in the name of being a public servant for the people. In light of the allegations, I, as a resident of Dalton, former law enforcement officer and female, along with other Dalton residents, would like to see you display some integrity and step down pending the outcome of this investigation. And to our attorney, it is a disgrace that you will not explain to this body what the rules of the First Amendment are. Absolutely. Total violation, so continue to get your check. All right. All right. Um, next part. One more time. I'm, I'm sorry, Madam Mayor. Oh, go ahead. One more time. I am clearing the room. Okay. Okay. Miss Avant. No, they don't. When it's a safety issue, it falls under the police department. This is outrageous. All right. Call the next name. They want. They want this meeting to be canceled. This meeting is not going to continue. I don't think it's going to continue. They want to get out of there. They want to leave Two early. Oh, Stubbs. Stubbs is up. Good evening, residents. Good evening, Board of Trustees. The four of you all. Um, 
I'm tired of our, our rules and regulations change every time we have a meeting. Okay. First of all, it's not public comment because the ordinance have never ever been changed. Correct me if I'm wrong, trustee house. Right. So is is that the two minutes or y'all got something else going on? Okay. Let me know. And no, some something, something's going on. Well, you know what you're doing. You're violating our rights. And that's a shame that our rights are being violated. For clapping, I tried they tried to put me out last week, last month, you know, and it don't make sense. Make this make sense to me. And uh, I'm agreeing with Mary. I'm asking for Andrew Holmes to step down, which he shouldn't have never been in that seat in the first place because he never lived here. So stop blowing smoke up the residents behind because this is ridiculous and I'm tired of it. Mayor, you might as well step down too, you know, because I'm tired of that too. You know, this is a disgrace that you have done to this village. You thought that other fellow was bad? No, this is a thousand times worse Word. <laughs> than what he could ever be, you know, and they say, that you the worst mayor in America, I agree. All right, next person. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good evening. Our fellow residents of Dalton. I want to take this time to express my deepest gratitude to Tiffany Henyer and her team for their commendable efforts to better our community. As a longtime resident of Dalton, I have witnessed the transformative impact of three different administrations. However, it is under Mayor Henyer's tenure that I have felt the most connected and valued. So she's in a little weird. Am, am I just being, am I wrong here? She's, she's reading it something that she should be able to speak clearly and able to articulate this without writing it down. It wasn't a very, not in depth at all. She's reading and she's looking around like, it looked fake. <laughs> The other guy may have felt that way, but it looked weird. It just looked weird. Like she was there, like, yeah, wink, wink, like, hey, 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 yeah, hey, 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 here, look, I'm, I'm doing what you told me to do. I'm, I came down here. It just seemed odd. Maybe this is how she speaks is possible. It just seemed a little off. I don't know. In the short time, the mayor has been in office. She has accomplished more for the community than any of her predecessors did in their entire term. Yep. Making me feel proud to be a part of Dalton. Under Mayor Henry's leadership, we have seen significant improvement in our community infrastructure, paved alleys, mm -hmm. snow removal services, have made our roads safer and more accessible. Furthermore, FEMA supportive services have ensured that we have an that we have the help that is needed in time of crisis. All right, one more outburst, I'm clearing the room. Okay, one more outburst, I'm clearing the room. Okay, so 
that that was just weird. That she shouldn't have been able to able to articulate that without a piece of paper. If that was true, I don't. That, at least that looked like a plant. The first guy, I don't think he knows what he's talking about. But that definitely a plant. So yeah, I think I think the I think Tiffany cash, cash after a few. I want to go back real quick with um, Carol Wilson. I want to see who actually stops the meeting or tries to stop the meeting. So I'm going to go all the way to her and we'll see what she said. And then, you know, he says, says you know, so I'm going to just put towards the end of that and, and see who tells the, who tells the, the, the simp dog to back down. You know, because remember, he's a cop. He's supposed to be the chief cop. And they were able to tell him to shut up and do what we say. Because remember, it's a credible threat. Even though they're, you know, the mayor and that lawyer are not cops, they don't know, they don't know the same, they don't have the same training as Lacey, but they told him to back down. You know, a Homewood Flossmore graduate with no criminal record. But Tiffany, you have one because we used your mugshot to, to protest in front of your house. And that's why you hid. That's why you have security. So let's tell the truth which I know you're incapable of. I wouldn't trust this woman if she stood on a stack of Bibles and had her tongue notarized. Not a damn thing she says comes out her mouth is true. Thank you. Say her name. Alexis. All right. right. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, let's see who, who uh, tells so the Ladies back and down. gentlemen, unfortunately, the meeting is now closed down. We need you guys to move to the door. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, just a hey, lieutenant, lieutenant, just the one that. It was the it was the lawyer. It was the lawyer that told him to back down. It was the lawyer. The lawyer looked around. He was like, "Nah, dude, not 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 simp. You're gonna keep this meeting going. You ain't gonna stop it. I tell you what to do. I'm the cop. I'm the top cop here. I'm the one running the show. That's interesting." B Rev with a ten dollars super chat. Appreciate you. What kind of Mickey Mouse BS is this? Throw this mayor away along with Holmes and Lacey. Hundred percent, I agree. Hundred uh, percent. Amy with a five dollars super chat. Appreciate you. This was the plan all along. Lacey is horrible. I hate it. I hate it for Dal Dalton. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And Kai with the four nine nine super chat. Appreciate you. The, the the damn lawyer told him to stop. The back down. The lawyer said, "Hey, no, we no, you're not because." Even he has a foresight. That would be the headline. The meeting stops because this woman is upset about her daughter being killed by the Dalton police. Even he understands that would not look good. Lacey didn't figure that out because he's a, he's a moron. The way it runs, he's the law. He's like, listen, back down, uh, Stubby. No, we're not going to stop the meeting. This is terrible. Keep the meet, meeting going. It only—I don't know if he's the kind of lawyer that you would want, unless you have a—you are corrupt, and he's a perfect lawyer for you. Long history of that. But again, if this was a true threat, you shut the meeting down before it. If you get calls or you got tips saying there's a credible threat in the, that's going to happen, you don't have the meeting. So it wasn't that the threat that they they were worried about is the protest and how bad this looks. A hundred percent. He remember. If if that was anybody else, you think Lacey's listening to them? Yeah, the lawyer the lawyer realized that was going to be bad PR. That that would look really bad. But you know what? Before we head out, let's see the best part of this. I mean, I think the the, the citizens talking was actually that's like the highlight. But let's go to the very end where they decide to move on. So let's get let's just go to that part. Do you have any general announcements? Um, yes, Mayor. All right, go ahead. Okay. Um, I, I hear a lot of the outrage, and I think a lot of it is just around um, having a space that can accommodate. And I'm concerned also that there may be some violations of the Open Meetings Act because we need to have a space when we know that there's uh, this many people. Um, as such, I'm going to make a motion that we postpone this meeting and continue the agenda to Monday, April 8th, a week from today at 6.30, Dalton Park District, 14700 Evers. So that is my motion. Um, trustee? Thank you. We are not postponing a meeting. We are Thank here. You. Thank you. And basically, we have two items on the agenda. So we can basically continue with our meeting and get through the two items that's on the meeting. So my advice to the board is we are already here. Let's handle the business and not let the business. If that was, if that was true, 
then why did you allow Lacey to keep threatening the, the people there that they were going to stop the meeting? You just said that like, this just happened a few minutes ago. What is wrong with you? This handle you got. We're not having no meeting at no I Dalton know. Park District. So I'm just That's making that crystal clear. Clerk, what are you doing? You out of order. You out of order. Did I call the road? Did I say call the road? I'm still speaking. You're out of order, Clerk Key. You out of order, Clerk Key. Like, stop. Y'all out of order. Everybody want to run stuff. Y'all don't run this house over here. Stop, please. So as I was stating, we need to continue with the business. We are here. People came to a meeting to hear what we have been doing in our village. The department head, the lawyer, everyone's here. So I'm asking for you guys to Hi. sit Dan here Brown. and to deal with what's going on. Trustee Tammy and Brown. that's the problem. That we now, wonder why we have this function. This is the reason. So Trustee if y'all walk out, y'all walk out. We got business to handle. Okay. All right, you so go, go, ahead, go ahead. Handle your business and we're going to handle ours. Absolutely. And that was it. So this had a good ending. I didn't, I don't think there was any, I don't think there was any big issues, altercations. Obviously there's a lot of emotion and then a lot of, um, you know, it could have went worse. At least the people in the back or at least in the front, there wasn't anything crazy as far as uh, I saw on some of the other um, streams. They were able to show solidarity that Andrew Holmes needs to resign. He, he is obviously somewhere hiding. Hopefully some charges will actually um, start and he gets, truly gets indicted. Um, she tr she's trying so desperately to maximize control along with Lacey and it's not working. And I felt like yeah, there was some some emotional, angry parts, people trying to get into the building, but the people were able to say what they wanted to say. They were, and I think Jason House had a good point. This they need a bigger building. Everyone needs to be able to take a seat. They can do it. The mayor doesn't care. She don't care about the people who who are crying, who are who are upset about the deaths of their loved ones. They're looking for answers. She don't give a damn. But it's good yes, that they were able to come back, sit down, put her put her on notice and, and put her out there. I'm gonna check and see if they're still talking inside, but I don't think it matters. No, no, we're turned. And <laughs> trust me, no, we're turned up. Future mayor, Jason House there. That's the next mayor right there. Yep, I said it too. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's talk to her. Let's talk to her. She came out and said, power to the people. West this water. Where's Brittany at? That's great. Hey. All right, brother. Yeah. Hey, Brittany. Brittany, say something. What happened? How you feeling? The mayor's still sitting down with the lawyer. She didn't want to let y'all shut it down? Yeah. Even though we talk on the mic, we mute it, we talk, we go in, you go for three minutes to two minutes to the restaurant. That can even start for me to 7.15, 7.22. We've been here since 6.30. Yeah. 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 Well, Tiffy, what doing a rant. All right, let, let, let's let's listen to the rant. You know she loves ranting. Let me. I'll, I'll switch it right back over. I want to jump in with this. Hold on a second. So 
if you guys may know about this situation, I'm gonna put the video up. There was the Easter egg situation with Chief Lacey. So let me show you, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Grandmother is out there with, you know, Easter egg hunt, hanging out with her son and grandson. Chief Lacey says, hey, you threatened the mayor. You gotta go. Now, again, if there's a true threat, the person should be arrested. And then the prosecution happens and all, you know, go through the whole motion, right? You're saying that this person has committed a crime. If there's a credible threat, just like this, the, the stupid thing he said about a threat earlier today, it wasn't a threat. If it's a threat, there wouldn't be a meeting. If there's a credible threat of something happening, you don't have the meeting. So he's lying. But he just used that. They go back and forth yelling at each other. Oh, she's getting upset with him. And then you see that boy crying. I'm not going to play the sound. It's, it's, it just bothers me, especially me. I have a 10-year-old son. I, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to look at. But one of the things she does say is, you guys keep messing with me. You guys keep messing with me. And, you, and I'm thinking, when I first saw it, I'm like, again, a pattern. You see this boy right here. You know, he, he's already upset, scared. He's going to cry. You know, he's going to cry because, you know, you see a bunch of police officers crowd him and his, and his father and his grandmother. He has no idea what's going to happen. He has no idea what's going to happen. He's scared out of his mind. You don't know if, if, if his grandmother and father are going to go to jail or what. And they all know how dangerous this man is. You, seen the, you saw the meeting earlier. He wants maximum control. He doesn't care about the laws. He doesn't understand any of the First Amendment laws. If He, he is the simp guard dog for the mayor, right? So, yeah, I, I agree, Bob. It was, it was definitely hard to watch. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is she had another video that happened in October. So it's a reason why she was targeted at this Easter event, right? In, in, in just a few days ago. I'm going to show you guys this video right now. No, there's an audio. I, I, I muted it. It's, it's, the, the kid starts to cry. I, I don't want to, I can't, I can't listen to it. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll post it somewhere else or something, but I, I can't. We, we watched it. If you want to watch it, it's the live stream I had yesterday. We watched a good amount of that video, but I can't. I just can't watch it right now. But I want to show you this video that Cheryl, the person that's talking, and at least I'm gonna get you guys can hear her voice, so you guys can know it's the same person. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a little bit so you guys hear her what voice. I'm saying don't touch my son. Him, don't touch him. my son. He know what I'm saying. He don't have no warrant for his arrest. He don't have no paperwork or nothing. You ain't no real man. Sir. Yeah, and the kid starts. I can't. I can't watch. Listen, but just oh, guys want to watch or you guys hear that voice, right? This video was sent to me, and this happened a few months ago. In October of 2023, I'm gonna play this right now. Be back down now. I guess they're going back to the uh, park. How you doing, baby? How you doing? All right. No, sir, we're not. I don't have anything to talk to you about, Lacey. You hear that? You hear that? Lacey, she's just walking, just walking down the street. Why is he pulling up on her? This is why she reacted the way she did. She was tired of this man messing with her. She probably is not a big fan of the mayor. At this point, it's pretty understandable. She's just walking. Why is he pulling up on her? So we'll play a little bit again. You know, see what you see, guys can hear it. No, sir, we're not. I don't have anything to talk to you about, Lacey. I need to stay over here. I'm mad at my business. I'm on the sidewalk, so how are you saying something to me while I'm standing where I legally can be? And I really appreciate you quit doing that. You're gonna quit doing that. Like I say, y'all don't own dog. Tell me why I couldn't go once again. Once again, y'all heard that, right? You know, what's the point? Why are you bothering her? Y'all know I'm y'all see me on the public sidewalk, right? Y'all heard what he said to me. I'll document that as a form of harassment. 
What other reason can it be? This grandmother is walking down the street. She says hello to somebody. Lacey pops out of nowhere saying, you have to move. You have to go. She's outside on a public street. Why, why are you bothering her? So when, you, when I first saw the video, you can see her getting upset very quickly. It's, it's a rise of tension. It's like you're bothered. You keep harassing me. Months ago, who knows how many other issues she had with Lacey. And you see how he behaved at the meeting. You see how he thought that he can just stop a meeting. He was going to stop that meeting as soon as he saw Carol Wilson and her say, say her name, Alexis Wilson. He was ready to shut down the meeting to this, a much smarter person, the lawyer that's running all this stuff, said, hey, idiot, how bad do you think it's going to look? We stop a meeting because what Carol Wilson said, you moron. And he had to tell him to stop. And then all of a sudden, oh, just, just those two have to be removed. Like, he is so stupid that he was going to make it even worse, even though I think this is already terrible. But he's so damn dumb that even like the mayor, either the mayor or the lawyer had to tell him, again, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an attack dog. He's a simp dog. He can, get a, he can get aggressive or be controlled. Now, again, if there was a credible threat, there should have been no meeting taking place. They had people arguing outside. Jason House had a good point. How about we just postpone it and get a bigger room so more people can come in and sit down and listen to what's going on? Oh, and then all of a sudden, the mayor wanted the meeting. Oh, no, we already here. Well, you were going to cancel it literally 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago, you're going to cancel the meeting. What are you talking about? Doesn't make any sense. Like, it, does, it doesn't make any sense. Now, Candy says, I want House to come in and clean House. <laughs> literally. Yeah, I, I believe it. It's, it's harassment. You know, it's a small town. They all, they all kind of know each other. So when she is out in the Easter egg hunt, and then he throws that accusation of you're threatening the mayor, she she got she got upset. And it looks like rightfully so, because there's a long history of harassment. Because he knows her, she knows him, and they both know that she does not like the mayor. You threaten the mayor. Any any documentation on that? Why you didn't arrest her if that if that was actually true? So I wouldn't believe anything Lacey says. So when Lacey said it was a credible threat, they shouldn't the meeting would have been canceled. Because at this point, you know, we live in a society now where threats to public buildings, churches, or, or schools, if there's a credible threat, they evacuate it immediately. They don't still have the meeting. There, there was no threat. It was a protest they didn't want to deal with. And that's really it. Like, that, that, that's the problem. Carolyn says, uh, Tiffany is scared. I hope that she knows how others feel. She does not care how other people feel. She is incapable of, of, of any level of empathy. You can tell how quickly she's able to move on. It's a not a great virtue to have that you can't feel the pain of people or others. She only cares about herself. If you look at the Long Island, Long Island Audit channel when he was dealing with going to the township, you see all the posters with her with her face. You see all the pamphlets with her face. Everything has to be branded with her name. She after all this nonsense, she still promoted her stupid cringe podcast. The woman does not care about anybody else. That's why there's no way she's going to resign. She's either going to get voted out or arrested. There is no middle ground. She's going to stay as long as she can possibly can. You know, this is, she does not care about anybody. She only cares about people who, who are loyal to her. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as soon as the meeting, as this meeting was over, she went into the whole ranting about, oh, we're here to work. You were literally going to cancel the meeting 10 minutes before that. What are you talking about? The self-awareness of this mayor. She, ha she has zero self-awareness. She don't recall what she said 10 minutes ago. She told Lacey this. She told Lacey, if they get, if they act up, let's cancel this meeting because what the hell, I don't want to deal with this anyway. And, and, the, and Chief Lacey needs to go. The man does not belong with a gun or a badge at all. Absolutely, this is not normal behavior. And when, when, the, when the leader is toxic, and vindictive and angry and aggressive. That that energy filters on to, to everybody else. I don't know if you guys maybe worked with someone with a negative attitude or you live with someone with a negative attitude. That household, that office kind of becomes a little bit of it, especially if it's a such strong energy of anger and frustration that everyone starts to get angry with each other. Now, again, it was just like one of the, the, the citizens that talked. If there's a credible threat or whatever the issue you're saying, then there should have been a better plan of how to execute, how to handle it. There was no, there was no plan because it was made up. It was made up. What threat? What, some a comment somewhere? You have enough cops there. I didn't, you know, I saw people frustrated and angry about not able to get in. But what threats? What, what was it fist thrown? Like, what are you talking about? Myra says in her rant, she had a, the audacity to say they walk out of every single board meeting. Like, bitch, wear a straight line, man. She just want to tell people to do research. She doesn't even have the meetings the way it's, it's supposed to be two meetings. 
first and the third Monday. She is canceled. So this this one is going to be the third Monday. There won't be no meeting. She cancels those meetings. So wh why is she? Why does she care now about doing the business when she was never interested in doing the business? When she always cancels the meetings. That's why they have the other meeting. So the first man that was talking about, oh, they shouldn't have meetings outside of the mayor. She keeps canceling them. And there's people have questions. They want to know what's going on. So I don't know if that guy was the plan. I mean, I don't know problem people people who who ride with Tiffany. I really it don't make sense to me. But I do want them to speak because I, I want them to, I want to understand their point of view. Because I it's hard for me to understand it. But that guy, he came from River, Riverdale. You would think you should empathize with the situation with Dalton. Lawrence Jackson was stealing money. Stealing money. So why you think Tiffany Hanyard is not? I mean, they're right next to each other. It's a long pattern of corruption in, in the state. So for him to kind of, well, yeah, these trustees are kind of messed up over here. But, you know, I came from somewhere where I have a corrupt mayor stealing. So his logic didn't make any sense. And fitting that she let that she held her meeting on the day of fools. 